Okay. Um, you know, obviously we made some shots tonight. Joe got going early. Uh, Kadari coming in and Jesse coming in. Kadari made two steals right away and got the ball to Joe. He made two big shots to get us. You know, it was 11 to 2. After that, it was like 50 to 20, something like that. But Kadari made the defensive plays. And then, you know, with Marek getting in foul trouble, Jesse was m monstrous for us. He did a great job in the middle. Um, you know, he's still got a long way to go, but he rebounded it, was a presence out there. But, uh, you know, he, he was big. But Joe was uh, really good, and then Buddy got going at the end of the half and kept it going. And, uh, you know, Q's been steady all year. I thought he made some good passes tonight out of the trouble. Mm -hmm. When, when they came to get him, and he was really very efficient under there. And, you know, we survived Marek and Allen. Marek not scoring and Allen scoring five points. That's pretty good. Uh, Miami's been in every game except one this year. Uh, I thought we, you know, when it started out 11-2, when you're coming off a 64-point giveaway in the second half against Pittsburgh, you know we had to – changed the direction of the game right away. And Kadari did that. Jesse helped. And, uh, but Joe was the, when Joe plays like that, you know, obviously we're just a different team. I mean, he was just smart. He was getting by people. He was hitting his pull up. He was hitting obviously the three, but he was just, just playing good basketball. And our defense was really good for a long time tonight. And that's important for us going forward. You know, we get a day off tomorrow and come back and get ready for, you know, obviously Virginia Tech is playing great. That'll be a tremendous challenge on Saturday. Thank you, Coach. Our first question will be from Donna DeToda. Yeah, Jim, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, Jesse. And what did you see from him from a defensive perspective? You know, they were attacking the middle. Walker had scored a bunch of points, and he came in, and he really kind of shored up the middle there. What did you like about what he did defensively tonight? You know, he played good position. I thought he had a chance to block a few more shots, but that'll come. But, you know, I just thought he was a presence out there. His size helped. Um, you know, we caught him inside on a, on a roll for a dunk, and he made a nice little shot. He had a chance on a couple other ones. He got the ball knocked out of his hands. He's still not protecting it enough. But he showed a lot of promise tonight. This was, uh, you know, by far the best uh, that he's uh, played here. And, uh, you know, he's a young player. He, he's, uh, you know, he's just just got to grow into everything that he's doing. But he's a presence. He's big. He's long. And uh, he was a factor in the game tonight. Thank you. Our next question will be from Matthew Gutierrez. Hey, Jim. Uh, just a question on, uh, on lineups. It seems, as you said, with Jesse and – and Kadari and uh, you know things things changed a bit in the game. Do you foresee them being able to yeah. help out together? You know, coming up in this tough stretch. I hope so. That was a, they were key, and then we had Buddy at the three when we really got going there, and uh, you know we that's when we took the lead. We we put the three guards out there, and uh, Jesse and Q. That was a good lineup. Um, Kadari made some really good passes. He got in the lane. Um, his defense was exceptional, but he got into the lane, made some really good passes, uh, got the ball to open people. And, you know, we made shots. I mean, we, I think we're a better shooting team than this. I mean, we're 10 for 25 from the three, which is, you know, which certainly is good. But, I mean, I, I think we can make more of those shots. I mean, we're getting good looks. Um, we're getting good looks. We just got to keep moving the ball and getting those shots. Coach, obviously you've seen a lot more games than I have, but I'm amazed that, that your team can look so different one day to the next, two days later. Can you explain? I don't agree with that. <laughs> we, play, we played great at North Carolina. We just couldn't stop them. And there's a reason they're pretty big and pretty strong, and that, that does hurt us. We played well at Pittsburgh, and we just lost our defensive edge in the second half, and uh, and they just took us out. But every other game this year, Mark, we've been in every game. We've been close in every game, and we didn't have our haven't had our center, and we didn't have Buddy for a bunch of games. I think Buddy's just starting to get his rhythm back a little bit from all the timeout and being 
having the COVID, the whole thing. He's, I think he's getting it back. Uh, both Joe and, and Buddy were out with it. So they were out. They were sick and they were out. So that takes, people forget. Everybody knows this happens and knows that they were, but then they expect them to come back and play like nothing ever happened. 